going to do is show you how to do a C++ program with proper style. So we've already written the Hello World program. Now we're going to rewrite it so that it follows the standard convention. Hopefully you've already watched the video on how to do this in Python. So the same rule applies of why we're doing this. Remember, code is always written not just for a computer, but for a computer and every other person that is going to look at it later. So you have to make sure your code follows a standard so that people can understand what's going on. So we're going to start back at GitHub and we're going to add a new repository. Course code the unit and the programming language it goes off and checks to make sure that this hasn't been created before public read me and put in your C++ get ignore and create your repository it'll go off and create the URL that we need we go back to AWS, oops, open a new terminal, and then we do git clone in our repository. It creates our new folder that we're looking for, and we're going to create our new C++ program. So as we've seen before, the first thing you should always do is save as and give it a proper name because untitled one is a really bad name and save it and just to confirm that this will actually run run with C++ and it should go off and create your program just gonna change this and make it the standard hello world And we're good to go. Okay, so this is the standard program that AWS gives you. Now I'm just going to do the magic of cut and paste and put the standard in that we are going to be following. So this is the standard that we're going to be following. It should seem quite familiar if you've already looked at the Python version. At the top, Instead of a shebang, you always have this copyright so that everybody knows what's going on and who wrote it and who owns it. If you were working for a company, the company name would be here instead of your name. And when this copyright happened, then we have one space just as a separator. You'll notice that for comments in C++, it's two slashes, whereas in Python, we had the dollar sign. Then we have who created it, when was it created, and what does this program do? Okay, now we only have one space, and then we have this include file, which is using a library called stream.io, which lets us have a standard input and output. Then we have a space, and we have main. So this is the main function that's going to be running. You'll notice that we have the standard we're going to be following is that the curly bracket or curly brace is on the same line as the definition of the function. And then just like in Python, this is four spaces. You'll notice over here, it's set to four spaces. So even though this is really a tab, when it saves this file, it actually replaces all the tabs with four spaces. So that's helpful. And then we have our standard output of putting hello world and then the putting a character turn at the end and then our program ends. So I'm just going to save this and we'll rerun it and you'll see that yes indeed oops, I had an error. What is this error? Missing terminating character. Ah, because I pasted it in, you'll notice right here, this quotation is different than this one. 
So I need to replace those with the standard set so that they're both the same. Okay, so hopefully this will work now. There we go. So got to watch that. <laughs> C++ is very particular. You have to have the exact same quotations because there's actually three different kinds going straight up and down, left and right. So because I had it actually in a word type document, it brought across the wrong, wrong kind. Okay, so there we go. Our program works and we're all good to go. I'm gonna go back to the terminal and go into our C++ folder where our file has just been created. And you'll notice this is the .o file that's needed when it's compiling. And now we're gonna run cpp lint, which is the code style checker for us. And it takes our C++ program. When we press enter, this will actually give us some output unlike the PyCode style. So if it gives you done, that means your style is perfect and you're good to go. Just to prove that you can do something wrong, actually I'm going to, what could I do? Let's try just one space here and see if that will give us an error. There you go. So it'll give you an error and it'll tell you what line it's happening on and what you should be doing. So it's on line 10 and it was a weird number of spaces. So line 10, that's where we made the mistake and it figured it out and it gives you the error. And once you've corrected the error, you just run it again. And if you get done, then you'll know that your program is working properly. <laughs> Once again, when you're completely finished and your program is working properly, you should go through the proper Git process to actually shove your code back up to GitHub. So git add star. And remember, it's going to ignore this .o file, which is what we want. Git commit with a message. And then git push origin master. It'll once again ask you for your username, which in the case of the user I'm using is Jane Smith2. And then your password. And it'll go off and it'll update GitHub. And when it's all done, we could go back and we could refresh and you will see your C++ program here. So that's how you go through the process of making sure that your code follows proper style.